thought summer camp would be fun. It wasn't long before they realized it would be deadly. Slay away camp. <laughs> Welcome everybody to Slay Away Camp. I'm your host for the evening, the Birdman known as Falcon, and this right here is the game I'm super excited to be showing off. I have been anticipating this title since all of September. This is one of the games I really wanted to focus on for October, for a little spooky October nonsense that we're doing in the channel. Now, this is kind of like a, a spoof on 80s horror movies, slasher films, etc, etc. Very similar to Lakeview Cabin. Now, it's a different complete gameplay style as Lakeview Cabin was, but it's got that entire VHS gritty type of feel. Very silly. It's a horror game, sure, because of the, the, the content Content, but it's actually done in a silly way where you actually have more fun playing it than anything else. Um, as you can see right now, I've unlocked a couple of quote-unquote worlds which are actually shown as videos. So we actually start off with the first movie which happens to be Slay Away Camp. The next world over or the sequel is actually Slay Away Camp 2. And then we have Slay Away Camp 2.5 and as you can see we actually unlock more of these as we go forward. Now the gameplay style might throw off a few people and it's understandable. It's actually done really really differently so I'll show you what I mean about this. So for now let's actually go into the very first movie. Um, I, I hope, let's see, hold one second here, killers. Um, we have people you could actually unlock different type of killers as well as you go forward. You could actually get um, insert skull coins over here to unlock some. But you know what? Let's do that. Let's actually unlock a killer right off the bat over here. So unlock the new killer. We got Sweets Man. Are, are you are you supposed to? Uh, it is. It's Candy Man. Wait, why are there bees in his mouth? Yes, it's Candy Man. <laughs> Alrighty, we'll be using Skull Face or Jason for this one. So this will be your select killer right here. Let us go back to the movies, which happens to be our stage select. And let's actually go to the first one. Now, when you beat the first world, you actually get access to deleted scenes, which is kind of like a more difficult version of every level in the stage, which is actually really cool. A lot of replay value in this game, mind you. But for now, we'll do the vanilla version of Slay Away Camp. So we'll replay over here. Scene 1 of 10, Last Day of Summer. Okay, this is very simplistic. You are going to be the killer, which is already a plus in my book. The way you play this game is kind of like a puzzle. You have to make sure that your guy slides over to the kill itself, and then you get a really cool, gory cutscene to show off the kill sometimes, on occasion anyway. So right now, we just have to kill this guy over here. We have a couple of kids, which apparently are leaving now for summer camp. So now all the camp counselors are left alone over here, doing drugs, having sex, and that's where apparently Jason shows up, and he's just kind of like, You gotta die! <laughs> yeah! And the kids are off. <laughs> okay. First kill already done. Now, on occasion, when you kill these dudes, you get like a really cool little cutscene where it's just extra gory and stuff like that. And you could also unlock different kill methods with um, the coins you actually gather by each, sta each stage, I should say. Scene number two, slide and kill the camp safety officer. Alrighty, and the music is so good. This is essentially like a really fun parody of 80s horror movies. It's got the entire theme going on, the music. It's just so goddamn good. I'm having so much fun playing this. So right now we have to get to this guy over here. Um, with the first world, just um, bear with it. It's actually... Oh yeah, do it. Oh, ouchies indeed. The first world is very easy, very kind of boring. I wasn't really too impressed with the game with this world, with the first video. But once the sequel hit, you have a bunch of hazards, a bunch of different type of um, ways to kill, and a lot more dangers for yourself as well. So just give it a little bit of time here. And once we get to the sequel, I think you'll enjoy it a lot more as well. So slide into camp. Alrighty, let's see here. We have two dudes to kill. I like how they could see me across the fence, but they don't run right now. They're kind of like, ah, Jason's on the other side of the fence. I'm fine. Well, you won't be fine for long. Let's go over here and do... I'm gonna say we come through here. And... Yeah! Uh-oh! What do we got? Oh! The old axe to the head! Yeah! And now, what we want to do here is slide here, here, and... Bada-bing, bada-boom! Oh! <laughs> and of course, you got the patented... Choo-choo-choo-cha-cha-cha after the kill, which is so good. I'll play a little bit of spoilers for you. You can't unlock your, um, Skullface Mom, I should say. It's not really Jason, it's Skullface. We gotta get that right here. But you can't unlock Skullface Mom, in case you were wondering. So, we'll come down through here. They're gonna start running. This right here is gonna be a really important part of the puzzles going forward. You're gonna probably sometimes use them running away to solve certain little aspects to this puzzle. So here, for instance, by him running back, I now stop here. And I can slide over here and then kill this guy easily. 
without this guy running back here, I would have not been able to get to this guy, I don't think, because then we would have slid it over here. Yeah, we would have been stuck, so we're good right now. The forward button gives you hints in case you're uh, lost on how to solve the puzzle. Pause, well, just pause, obviously. And then, rewind a turn. If you kind of, like, mess up for one turn, you can rewind it back. And you could also hit Q to actually restart the entire scene. Sometimes you'll be doing that because some of the more puzzles down the line become a lot more difficult as well. So, we'll kill you. Ah, your friend's gonna run, huh? Good on him. But, we slide over here. We will slide this way, here, and I, I want to say we should probably... Oh, yeah, I think I've got it. This way. Boom! Your friend's gonna run, but too late for him. Oh, no escaping me, my friend! Yeah! Get out of here. Scene complete. Alright, we have Sequential Slice. Scene 6 of 10. So, Sequential Slice, huh? I'm thinking for this one how we should play this out. Uh, you're thinking the easy kill would be right here. I think we actually have to play a little bit outside of the box here. So maybe we slide here instead, and we take care of uh, Pink Mohawk Man first. Oh -ho -ho. And now you're stuck over here, which gives us access to this, and then our exit over here. As I mentioned, the first world, very easy. Um, don't write it off just yet. Wait till the sequel where a bunch of hazards show up here. El Fuego de la Muerte. Okay. Not sure what that means. Spanish viewers out there, let me know what that means. I guess it means fuego? Fire, maybe? Muerte? I think Muerte's dead. Uh, fire of dead, maybe? I don't know, whatever. Okay. So with this one, we have a hazard now. By the way, we could die by burning as well, so we want to avoid that. Um, I think how we should play this out here is let's actually scare our dude over here is apparently high out of his mind. <laughs> oh no! Melted mess. Okay, now what we do, I think maybe we can't go to the left because we will die ourselves. So we come down here. No! <laughs> you silly idiot, you. And we come down this side, take care of you. Boom. Get on out of here. Scene complete. Now, I'm not seeing it right now, but after every scene, sometimes it's like a bonus stage. I think this is only because I've done this before, so it's not showing up just yet, but soon enough, once we get to the new world, so you'll see a bit of a bonus stage, which is a, a really cool, like, kill cam type of feature. Um, alrighty, for this one, we have fire all around you. So, let's start off by going down here. And... Hmm... If I come down this way, I get stuck here and I die. So, I'm gonna say we don't do that. I think we want to come down this way. May no, that's not good. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I think we got it. Hold on. We do this. Scare you. You burn. And I have an exit back through here. There you go. Alrighty. Scene complete. Nine of ten. Kill countdown. Finish in six turns. Now we have a bit more of a new hazard. Here you have to actually beat the stage within six turns. Otherwise, the SWAT comes down and they blow you to smithereens very much like Jason goes to hell. When the entire military was after him, that was a terrible fucking movie, mind you. Oh, don't even talk to me about that movie. And let's not even talk about Jason X, okay? It's not a cult classic either. Don't tell me Falcon Jason X is a cult classic. No, it is not a cult classic. It's silly. It's fucking stupid. But it doesn't make it a cult classic because it's silly and stupid, man. Alrighty, so you over here... Do I have to kill you right off the bat, or is it like a trick to you? I think if I kill him right off the bat, we get stuck. Let me give it a try, though. Let me show you a fail. Oh my god, we just headbutted him, he just he popped all over the place. So we come down this way, this way, yeah, this will get us some, God. Oh no, the SWAT's coming down, blowing me up! <laughs> I didn't know they gave you, like, a little, um, cast of credits when you failed. That's actually pretty cool. Alright, restart the scene. Alright, I, I got this, you know? Use the goddamn brain, Falcon. You have a brain for a reason, Birdman. Alright, so, you kill him. Wait, what if we go down here? Two, one. There we go! Okay, there you go. Fuck, it was right in front of me. The answer was right in front of me. I took a left last time, which is what threw everything off. Okay, we're good now. Final scene? A hole. Maybe asshole? Or maybe just a hole. Alrighty, uh, let's see. For this one, we want to make him go down that hole right there. That's the way to kill him. Um, in front of us, we have fire. We can't go through that, so I'm going to say we go left, obviously, first. We'll go through the hole ourselves and die, which is no good. We are a very squishy killer here, it does seem. So we come down here, here. Luckily, there's no timer right now for this one. So we come down this side. Um, we bring it through here. 
I think now we... Huh, we come up through this side. I need to get to the side of him and scare him off. So... Oh, see, we're back where we started. My friend, how did I kill you last time? Alright, we went through here. This side. Now take me down the hole. We come through here. Okay, here is where the decision's got to be made where we go. Come this side. Uh, I'm thinking... Oh, yeah, I got it. I got it. Here, here, here. <laughs> nice trip, buddy. Oh! Oh, that's got to sting. Perforated. <laughs> First movie's complete. Excellent. So now beating that one gives us access to the deleted scenes, and we also have access to Slayaway Camp 2. Uh, so now we can do that one. Before we do that, let's go back to the shelf. Do I have any Oh, uh, no, no coins yet. I guess you get coins after you um, do new ones, not the... You can't just... Um, farm the first video over and over. So let's go over here to Slay Away Camp 2. Now here's where it becomes a lot more fun. Uh, let's do a replay. We'll probably cover the um, deleted scenes afterwards if you want to see those, but right now we'll just go down the line. They thought it was safe to go back to camp. But... it wasn't. Slay Away Camp 2. Return to Slay Away Camp. Very original title. Slay Away Camp 2, return to Slay Away Camp. Why would you want to return there? I don't know, but hey, why do people keep going back to Camp Crystal Lake, you know? So, over here, we have the cop. New hazard. If we get in the line of sight over here, we get shot. So let me show this off really quickly. Freeze! Police! No, he just get busted. He's gonna arrest Jason? Well, that's just silly. <laughs> um, do we have the skull face thing on, or are we rocking... Oh, we're rocking, um, the mask still. Technically, for this one, we should have, um... Massless Jason. Can we do that? Can we just go back to the um, video store really quickly? Let me get the proper killer for this one here. Massless skull face. Ew, gross! Don't look at him. He's really gross. All right, here we go. So, let's see. Obviously, we want to avoid that. We will go down... We got to cater to that cop, so... Yeah! Stupid cop. No! Oh, what are you going to do? He's fighting me! Oh, he's tired of fighting me! Oh, 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 oh my god, we punched his head right off. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks a lot, faceless, or at least massless Jason Voorhees. Or, I'm sorry, Skullface. Scene complete. This is good. Scene 2 of 13, Danger Lake. Alrighty, what do we got here? Oh, he have the water hazard, so he, we could drown. And this is actually more believable, because Jason does have a thing about drowning, as we are aware of, assuming you're uh, familiar with the Jason movies. Um, so, this one's a bit more believable. Uh, let's see here. So, we want to avoid those, but we could also make them drown as well. I'm not sure why these people don't know how to swim, considering they have, like, swim trunks and everything, but hey, what do I know? Um, we'll come down here. Oh, isn't that precious? He scared of me. He drowned instead. And then we have you over here, huh? So, for you, I just do this. <laughs> down to the bottom you go. Drown. Let's go. Scene complete. What do we got? Right to remain deadly. Okay. Oh my god, this guy is over here, or at least... No, no, you're, are you a female? I think you're a female. She's just high out of her mind right now. Um, we also have a cop right in front of us here, right? So, we can cross through, we just can't stop in front of him. That'll get us arrested and busted. So, we've done that. I think we come down through here. Oh! Now, it should be noted, um, for the ones with cops, you don't necessarily have to kill all the cops. As a matter of fact, I think it's really impossible to kill this guy from any angle, unless you get him from the backside, but there's a fence behind him. So if you get him from the front, he best he just busts you instantly. This is like an unlock down the line, but he's really impossible to kill. So here at the moment, all we have to get is to the exit at this point. Um, I think what we do now is... what do we do now? Hmm. Can't go back. No. You know what? I, I'm gonna, like, screw this one up. Well, let's try this again. Right to remain deadly. Okay, we'll skip through. I, I think what we want to do is... Huh. Right, right, here we go. Don't take the easy kill instantly. Go around. Dead. And now what we did is we used her body to stop our momentum, and now we can just slide up here, take care of this cop, and we have our exit as well. Oh, just be headed straight up. 
And then the other cop just apparently dies. I guess we have like booby traps over the area too. He just electrocutes himself and dies. I don't know, man. Don't ask me. Scene 4 of 13. Alright, a triple truncheon, huh? Okay, let's see. We just gotta get one dude here, really. Um, let's do... Let's see. Down here would be bad. To the left would be bad. So we can just go to the this way. And then we do... Boom. Boom. We get rid of one cop right now. And then, bam, bam. Oh, we got this. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. Oh my god! <laughs> I ripped the arms off! And then I beat him down with the arms, and then the kill was farewell to arms. Oh god, I love this game. It's so good. It's just so it's such a goddamn parody. I love it. Uh, we have Tripophobia, phobia 513. I'd be lying to you if I told you I knew what the hell that was, what fear that was. Okay, this one took me a while, if I remember off camera, so we might have a couple of problems here. I know you don't necessarily want to go for the easy kill. It's kind of like a roundabout way of doing this one, if I remember correctly. And I don't think it starts with you guys down here. Or does it? No, no, I think we come down this way instead. We kill here. There you go. Aha. Aha. <laughs> yeah. And now we just retrace our steps. Yeah, there you go. This one took me a while off camera because I just couldn't get the proper order. Like how to stop myself from falling out a goddamn hole. Scene the 6 of 13, crime scene scream. Okay. So let's see, let's see, let's see here. Um, we have a cop right over here. So killing this dude over here is going to get me busted. So I think we have to get rid of this cop first. Um, do we use you right now or do we wait for you later? Hmm. You know what? I think we take care of the cop first. So what we do is do this. Cop done. And then... Do we go after you now? I think we do. Oh, the old head bud. Get you done. Now, the, oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Then we got this. Slide through. There's our exit. <laughs> Get electrocuted, Kappa. Scene 7 to 13. The kitchen crush. Alrighty. Got uh, another camp house we just hired a remind here. Oh, we're inside of a we're inside of a cabin now. Sweet. Oh, and here you get to use the, the bookshelves. Alright, check this out. Um this one should be easy. Check this out. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah! And we'll get some pretty cool animations with this pretty soon. Oh, oh. Uh oh. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god, the eyeball popped out too. Great. Alright, what do we got? Scene complete. Next one. Alright, here we have seven turns to finish. Forest Frenzy. Hmm. Don't really recall this one too well now. We're getting into, like, unfamiliar territory, like stuff that I just did recently, so I already forgot it, because I have really terrible short-term memory. Um... I don't think we take the easy kills. I, I think we do something like this. Oh, no! I just saw it right off. And since we have one turn left over, there we go. Got it. Bookcase Blues, 9 of 13. Alright, we have a cop right in front of us here. Mmm, let's see, let's see. We definitely have to kill you with the bookshelf, but this cop's in the way, so what if we start off going... Oh, you know what? No, this is... This bookshelf is gonna get in the way of me, so I can't get through this bookshelf. Hmm. Wait a minute. Cause that oh no no the bookshelf's gonna actually go over, so we could pass through now. So we could do that, and then we do. Cops gotta go, so we do this here. Now we have access to smashing that guy down as well. Hmm. Which should be. Oh wait a minute. No, I think we're fine. We're fine. Do this, and there you go. <laughs> Exit. Alright, scene complete. Let's see, we're almost out of time here. I do believe we're out of time. Alright, so we're going to come back next episode. We'll wrap up Slay Away Camp 2, and then we'll go into Slay Away Camp 2.5. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support does mean a lot. I will catch you next time.